When it comes to the national conversation around obesity, what are we getting wrong? I know you were a consultant for that movie, The Whale, which I thought was so profound. Thank you, yeah. thank you, and thank you so much for being here. Thank you, Dr. Rachel. And once again, this conversation is such an important one. And actually, in answering that question, I wanna add what we're getting right, right? right. Like, we're, we're having this conversation, and this is huge. And the whale, similarly, you know, it's, it's a step in the right direction. And what we need to continue doing is having these conversations about the fact that obesity is a disease. Because one of the things that we're getting wrong is this idea that it is calories in, calories out. And like Dr. Fatima just said, it's not that for everyone. It's that for some people, mm -hmm. but it's not for others. And people that really struggle with their weight, with their health, and with obesity, it's not that. It's not about moving more and you know, eating less. And that is what we have to change. We have to change that conversation as we're doing here. We have to educate more people and raise more awareness about this. You know, I know that we're gonna get pushback from a lot of people saying, oh, now it's a disease, Oprah. Now you're saying it's a disease. How do we make this conversation uh, accessible to pe for people to understand that it really is and that it's not now just a cop out? Yeah. So I think it starts with shifting the language that we use, yes. right? So one of the things is, you know, using people first language, for instance, you know, it's a person with obesity, same as we would say with cancer, right? It's a person with cancer. And this is gonna start familiarizing people with So it's with a person this. with obesity. Exactly, yeah. or a person struggles with obesity. So really putting the person first you know, we don't want to define an individual by their medical condition, right? We don't want to just label somebody because of their medical condition. But the problem with that is it's difficult with obesity. I'm, I'm admitting it, you know, I'm an uh -huh. expert in this field, but it's difficult because obesity is one of the diseases, maybe the only one, that we look at somebody and we might know. We, we don't know if they have obesity, but obesity has to do with, you know, our health but by looking at somebody, we see their physical appearance, right? So, right? so this, and not that everybody in a larger body has obesity, so that's complicated to also wrap our heads around, but it's, it's difficult because of that, right? But it's hard. I mean, I even have to remind myself sometimes to use that language and to kind of shift that. But I think that's a really good place to start, is to change the way that we're thinking about this. Well, how do you know when you have, a, when it actually is a disease for you versus it's not your willpower? Because... I'm going to get to you, Seema, because one of the things that Weight Watchers has been saying all these years is that, you know, you just take the blue points and the green points and the red points and that, you know, and, and as we know, as a member of the board, the blue points and the green points and all those points, if you are not meticulous with the points, you end up putting the weight back on. So now where is Weight Watchers in this conversation? Well, I'll start by saying, you know, I joined a CEO last year, but my... Um, my history with Weight Watchers began in 2013 as a member. I gained 60 pounds after having my first child. And even though I know how to live healthy habits, my mom, who's here, is, has her PhD in food science. She's a registered dietitian. So I know how to live healthy habits, and I struggled. And Weight Watchers helped me because I'm not an adipose carrier, right? And so. What uh -huh. we introduced this we introduced this category almost 60 years ago, but unknowingly, we introduced the shame also for people who diet and exercise alone was not enough. And Dr. Maya Angelou said, "Do the best you, you can until you know better. And when you know better, do better. We know better now. So we need to be the first to approach this with authenticity and say, Weight is a spectrum. And Weight Watchers, as the, the doctor, number one doctor recommended program, it worked for some, like me, but not all. And for those people, we don't want them to internalize that as a moral failing. Obesity is not a moral failing. It's a chronic relapsing condition.